Recording Africa. Mm -hmm. If you're wondering, this, of course, is with <laughs> Nigeria. Welcome. It is a beautiful Monday, and we are ready to go, ready to set your week off in the right pace. This is where you've come. Well, to do that, welcome once again. You know, you can watch us live on so many different platforms. You can get our app, which is available for Android or iOS, or you can indeed watch us live on our website. That's tvcentertainment.tv or on Facebook at TVC Connect. And of course, by us, she means myself, Mazino Peel. And Titi Laioui. So we're going to be here with you with the amazing Winfrey and the fantastic Mike. Hmm. Sorry, I, sorry, sorry. I was in announcer mood. Excited to be here, Mike. What say ye? Let's get it started. Yeah. You guys look like a picture. I like the fact yeah. that Mike's tie is matching your dress, Winfrey. That's oh, very nice. Interesting. And you guys are framed in that kitchen uh, background there. Wow. It's very nice. <laughs> ah. Cute well, tie, nice. Mike. Cute tie. <laughs> so the Monday morning madness begins with some motivation. Oh, yes. Yeah, we have Olumide Oladapo Imano, popularly known as the common sense guru. No doubt, one of the world's leading motivational speakers, wealth creation agents, and he has over three decades of transforming lives. We're talking about if you have financial discipline this morning. And for our weekly brain teaser, we'll be reviewing the latest edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hopefully, someone gets lucky. Damole Waris Olumide, known as Wari Dan, is going to be joining us for a musical performance later on. Are you a fan? Adiola Adeyemi is the chief engineer at Crown Tech Engineering, a company founded 11 years ago, and they specialize in commercial kitchen designs and so much more. We have quite a lot to talk about on SME today. Make sure you join us. All Welcome, right. people, for a Monday. It's going to be an exciting one if you're joining us. You're right at the right place. But of course, hey, where else would you rather be than here for a Monday morning? Uh -huh. How was your weekend, guys? Mr. Mike, Mr. Danny. Yeah, we, 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 just say we, Mr. Danny. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like, wow. you know, when you are talking, it's like French. <laughs> when you are being very, I didn't even uh, notice. Mr. Danny, Mr. Danny. He's a Miss, Miss Danny. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. I mean, after last Friday, it had to be Mr. <laughs> I mean, she was wearing an Agbada, wasn't she? Oh, yes, she was. Wow. So you, yes, she was. You bought yeah. it, you have to stick with it. Yes, you, like, <laughs> you, you ladies should just I let like us have our own. I like being a woman. I wouldn't trade it. A woman, so and then you, it was a no, so a the umbrella was so like if I wear it, you help me. It will take you. Wow, <laughs> why? Why are you, why are you ladies doing this? Uh, I don't understand. Taking our trouble, <laughs> <You're taking laughs> we're not taking anything. We're not taking anything. We well, own speaking it. Of it. Speaking of which, <laughs> the fact is that on Friday actually set the pace for the weekend. It was a fantastic yeah. weekend. Yeah. Here at TVC, we had the Cultural Diversity Day yeah. and it was colorful. Mm -hmm. What did you come, in, you come came in second or was it? Uh, runner -up? Did well, they call I it? honestly, I, I'm not even too sure, <laughs> but um, I know that the colors, the the glam, the food, the energy, oh, the music, Danny. Oh. everything was fabulous <laughs> on Friday. Oh. We had a touch of every African culture you can imagine. Mm. But that's the thing, I want to give yeah. a shout out to everyone who danced. These mm. guys, the really, they yes. were the highlight of a day. I yes. want a shout out to every single... Uh, which group won? Uh, I think that it was... It was a Calabar group. Uh, yes, that was a Calabar yeah. group. They were, they were very good. Uh, Gertrude was there. Who else was there? Zainab. Zainab was yeah, there? Zainab. What? Yeah, yeah. what? Yeah. They killed it. Zay Zay. They Beautiful. killed it. Mm -hmm. I want... I mean, every single group that danced, I mean, there were some very, very... A technical footwork there, and mm -hmm. I was like, "How long? Where did they, where did you get time to rehearse?" They yeah. actually had walking. secret rehearsal times. Yeah, they yeah. do. Yeah, they so yeah, very secret rehearsal. To you every know, single sessions. one of you, Catherine also danced. Look at that! Look at that! Especially the dancers. Yeah. yeah. We had external Those judges, by the way, mm -hmm. so we didn't pick the winners ourselves. I mean, I mean, this this, this was the Benway dance, and uh, <laughs> it's I amazing. Love it. I love it. I love and it. And the weather held. Yes. It started drizzling, no. then we spoke to it, and it no, stopped. Danny, Danny had us covered since like, Really? Spoke to her, uh, uh, you spoke to them. <laughs> uh, I, know what you're about. I know I had a great time, and the food was also amazing. We mm. had like different, we had Kunu, Zobo, all those kind of things. Interesting, interesting. Welcome back. You're still watching Wake Up Nigeria. My name is Winfrey Agbalishi, and it's time for the news. Let's begin with the security situation in Zamfara State, where at least 15 persons were said to have been killed by suspected terrorists who invaded a mosque in Bukhoyam local government area. An eyewitness who pleaded anonymity disclosed this development to TVC News. He said the gunmen stormed the area 
on motorcycles with sophisticated weapons and opened fire on worshippers who were observing Jumat prayers in a mosque at Rowan Jema community. This comes as the Nigerian military launches massive bombardment of identified hideouts of the terrorists in different parts of the state as part of the federal government's strides to rid all communities of banditry, kidnapping and other crimes. This is the second time in one month that worshippers have been attacked during Jumat prayer in Bukoyam local government council. Efforts to speak to the Zamfara police authorities proved abortive as the command spokesperson, Superintendent Mohammed Shehu, is not responding to phone calls put across as at the time of the report. The Nigerian police have pleaded commitment to sustain the fight against oil theft and other crimes capable of sabotaging the country's economy. Inspector General of Police Usman Baba explained that the police would continuously develop an improved capacity of officers through practical training and acquiring top-notch investigative and operational assets to ensure the menace was reduced to the barest minimum. The force public relations officer Olumuiwa Adejobi in a statement on Sunday revealed that the police boss made the remarks while briefing a probe panel comprising members of the Senate ad hoc committee on oil lifting, theft and impact on petroleum production and oil revenues. The RGP adds that police will not relent in enforcing all laws as statutorily empowered to charge all suspects arrested for oil theft and other relative offences accordingly without any prejudice. And to the fight against illicit drugs, where operatives of the National Judge Drug Law Enforcement Agency have arrested one 75-year-old Usman Burkina Bajama, popularly known as Clemen, and 22 other suspects in operations across seven states. Director of Media and Advocacy of the agency, Femi Baba Femi, said the old man was arrested on Tuesday, September 21st at Anguan State in Mayo Belwa Council area of Adamawa. It disclosed that over 1 million bottles of some substances and tramadol and over 2,500 kilograms of cannabis were seized. Mr. Baba Femi added that over 10 hectares of farms where these substances were being cultivated have been destroyed in Edo and Damara State. Also in Kwara, at least 19,878 bottles of the banned new psychoactive substance were intercepted by NDLEA operatives along the Ilori Jeba Highway and two suspects arrested. Outside Nigeria, far-right leader Georgia Meloni has won Italy's election. That's according to exit polls and is on course to become the country's first female prime minister. If they are confirmed, Miss Meloni will aim to form Italy's most right-wing government since World War II. A Meloni-led Italy will alarm much of Europe and Russia at war in Ukraine. She is predicted to win between 22 to 26 percent of the votes, says a Rai exit poll ahead of her closest rival, Enrico Letta, from the center left. Several exit polls just published giving her right wing alliance a commanding lead with 41 to 45 percent of the votes. And that's all we're taking for, for now. Wake Up Nigeria continues. Stay with us. And you are welcome for a Monday morning. Let's let you guys know what you'll be finding inside of the dailies, at least the front page. And this morning for a Monday, it's September 26th. Let's start with a copy of uh, the Punch newspaper. Front page for the front uh, for the Punch newspaper. Politics, insecurity, demand for bulletproof vehicles, special security gadgets surges. VIPs, politicians, others procure armored SUVs, demand overwhelms dealers. Suppliers confirm increased demand, sales expert worry over killings, kidnappings. Politicians' actions show 2023 polls may not be violence-free. Oh dear, pro-democracy groups say. At the top of the Punch newspaper this morning, 37 uh, firms get licensed to produce 762.3 megawatts, that on page 25, and police seize 123 oil vessels, others begin prosecution. Nigeria's economic outlook uncertain, welfare worsens, says Wema Bank. And on page 41, a Muslim Muslim ticket, Tinubu Shatima, frustrating reconciliations, says Lawal. At the bottom of the page, Nigeria at 62, end ASU strike now, 
can tell us the federal government. Let's move on now to our next daily for this morning. And of course, that will be the Guardian newspaper. Big headline for the Guardian here, more airlines depart empty as charges, rejections, stifle exports and air freight imports to export ratio slums to 87 to 13. Stakeholders condemn overseas ban on local yam, beans, smoked fish, ginger and others and regulators uh, squeak under staff shortage, multiple guidelines, poor compliance with standards and a single guideline, better cooperation, imperative, say, FAN and NEPSA. At the bottom of uh, the Guardian newspaper this morning, $23 million uh, batch of loots, Serapsu's Buhari, and of course, uh, Hariwa Flay's Sao over suffocating taxation. Let's move on now to our next daily for this morning, for a Monday here, and of course, that is the Daily Trust. Nigeria must have national dream, identity, say Obasanjo, and says country needs unifier to address uh, currents, uh, this unity. And Nigeria's uh, future will be great. And that's as much as we can take for the headlines this morning. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, if you've got any uh, topics that you might want to talk about, you might want to use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. Now, that's it for the front pages. Welcome. It is a Monday morning, of course, and we have a very interesting and uh, also personal uh, topic to talk about here today, insecurity. Mm. And uh, this is coming off of the fact that just this morning, I witnessed something that was very, very heartbreaking and shocking. Mm. Just as I turned into a junction and a very regular one, which I use every single day. In fact, I'm forced to stop at this junction every single day. And as I come to work every day, I'm always wondering, hmm, this place is rather dangerous. Mm. Just today, I actually witnessed, a, um, I think, a, a, a vehicle get uh, robbed with a guy in a machete. And two guys, actually, one on a bike and then the other one actually robbing. I stopped and I thought that it was kind of like an altercation going on between the driver and one of these paid legal services. But it wasn't because the driver was still inside of the car and this person was being uh, attacked in the back seat with a machete. Oh, wow. Um, I wish I had driven. Maybe I would, have, I would have taken other measures, but I didn't. I rode, so my safety was also um, uh, at stake there. But it's just, it just brings to mind the state we are in currently in Nigeria. And only just this weekend, all over social media, you had the instance of the by Elsa Big Boy, who was uh, uh, captured by authorities and uh, exposed to be a kidnapper. Mm. So it's really frustrating. I don't know if I have solutions or anything mm -hmm. except to tell people how I think they can help themselves in these times. But mm. I don't know what you guys uh, have to say about this, Mike. Yo, man. So look, man. And then it's getting, like you read from the papers, it was quite grim this morning. The yeah. outlook. You have a lot of politicians who are spending more to get armored SUVs, exactly. bulletproof SUVs. Yeah. So they pre they are preempting something. Yeah. And that the outlook is that is not going to be entirely violence free. We know how elections can be. We're getting to that season. I mean, yeah. just next this week or next week the uh, campaigns will start, yeah, right. and that is where it starts getting terrible. You know, it, but where it's so sad, you know, if this it, it, the, the case of uh, this Abuja uh, big boy, you know, why it's so sad is the persona or the facade he put up that on social media. Yeah. That was the most disappointing part, fact. I mean, you see pictures of him in worshiping, mm -hmm. you know, you see him you giving- that at me? <laughs> it wasn't the person that would gaze, don't worry. Oh, no. So the quick dance, so I just said I should clarify. <laughs> and then, dude will be giving motivational quotes. You see motivation? Yeah. Anybody can do it. Look, be care of course, everybody, everybody knows. Yeah. Don't go on social media, even Criminals me. Criminals too. Don't, I mean, don't, don't say something like that. Oh, and then you now want to be like, I mean, come on. And look at you. And you look, but of all, what, it, what really got to me was when he was crying, he has already confessed to one mm -hmm. or two kidnappers. While he was crying, he said his wife it's just right. gave birth or something. Yeah. So how are like, we oh, to So you are trying to appeal yeah, to someone's humanity. Mm -hmm. Wow. But everything around the ethos around kidnapping is actually ignoring someone mm. else's humanity. How vile and wicked, insensitive can humans be? Mm. There have been so many different reports of uh, certain individuals being um, ha, who have had this public personality of being, in quote, good or great people or people of means. And um, I want to touch on where you mentioned that he was in the midst of worship. And I was just thinking about all the uh, religious houses that have certain individuals in there. That accept these and, kinds And they of, accept you know. a l large sums of money from these people. Let them yes. in. Yes. yes. 
we understand that Jesus has saved us. Jesus died on the cross for everybody. You do understand? But I'm just saying, in the end, there are so many different types of people out there. We need to really just be extremely vigilant and call them out as we see them. Mm -hmm. um, call them out. Yes. Speaking about, both. No, of course. Like, speaking both. about the religious houses, I'll just yes. mention that. See, church is like hospital. So everybody, good. Not everybody that's receiving treatment. Yeah. So you understand, yeah. right? Everybody goes, but not everybody yeah. receiving yeah. treatment. You know, <laughs> yeah, this motivation thing is so taking serious. <laughs> it's it's your own page, you know, because it's the you've been it's shelling it's exactly. true. Honestly. But well, anyways, I, my case on this is the fact that, I mean, growing up, right, when you have the word kidnapping, you think of rituals, right? You think of all this, this, this men, or what I, should I say old men, or young men that are into, into some kind of, like, ritualistic, um, 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 and practices, right? But now it's sad how a lot of people have actually taken it as a means of livelihood. That's what right? it is. Some of them actually just kidnap and sell off, not even caring or knowing what, the, do you understand? They just use it to get money and then it's they just actually, like, it's, it's like just business. like a normal business and thing right now. And it's really sad, exactly. And 10 years ago, so 10 years really ago this, was the, uh, how far this going. was the state of Brazil. They were actually, the, it was exactly like this. But do you know what they did? It was not It was a rather draconian um, decree, but it was, it was, you know, punishment mm. on site. Mm. And you yeah. know how that can go. Exactly. Yeah. You, you see, you, know you how need that to be desperate times call for. Desperate Perhaps. measures. True. I'm telling you, and you when they see... treat this with kids' gloves. Yeah. We're getting to be an electioneering season. Yes. People do have to be... I mean, you spoke about something happening this morning. Just this morning, right Just in front of morning, me. Right it was so visceral. You. There was even a, a, a member of staff at TVC that was attacked. Yes. Uh, was attacked. Very recently. Very recently. It yeah. was... And, and that is why. I was talking to... I was with a friend on Friday night, and I said, I do all I can. I wanted to take her home, and then I, I was looking at the road like, okay, going was free. Mm -hmm. And then coming back, I saw two spots that they were, they traffic. were, they were traffic, and this was like, what, nine? Mm -hmm. I said, look, I'd rather stay mm -hmm. till 11, even 12. No, Mike, you to the fear. No, be fear. fear. Yeah, no, be fear. It's, 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 it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. Mike cannot, I mean, Mike's is red, 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 red. It doesn't like trouble, it doesn't like trouble. I do, I do, yeah, she don't mind me. Look, with all due, I mean, it, 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 the, the, the Lagos State Government, yo, that, that's the, that's the, look, this is where he was crying that yes. he has a wife and he has yes. a, a kid or something, or he's yes. pregnant. I'm like, Jerry, look at this man. You see, that's something, the Lagos State Government has mm -hmm. brought out figures mm -hmm. to let you know that we are more susceptible mm -hmm. to robbery during the hours of 7 mm -hmm. to 9 o'clock. Yes, actually. Especially in yes, traffic. Yeah, that's where the most... Of yeah, course. Because they know that's when people are transiting and, and they know that Lagos is jam-packed jam in that period. So and they know the I, I, did that be waiting your turn? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I've seen that happen. Sure. So personally, I do not drive within these hours at all. I either drive before, way before mm -hmm. it, or exactly. way, way after. Yeah. 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 But then again, be cautious. Lock your doors, mm -hmm. wind oh, up. Please. And um, when you're yeah. in traffic, please try yeah. to avoid using your phones in a way that the light's actually reflecting on the for on the, the life of me, I, I don't know, know why know. that door was open this morning because yes. they had access inside the vehicle. The car, exactly. oh, why lock your why doors? Happen, Personal car, public cars, please try to lock your doors. <sighs> All right, please be safe out there. Be safe, Take please. care of yourself. Yeah. We have very, very, be very aware of your environment. That's all we can ask you to do, and hopefully the things will get better. Okay. Amen to that. Stay tuned. It's TVC. Of course, it's Wake Up Nigeria. The chef ready to throw down in the kitchen on a Monday morning. Welcome. Thank you. Now, this is the food doctor. You are, your name is Hope, yes? Yes, please. But I'm going to be calling you food doctor. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> That's all right. I can see everything. You've already started chopping together. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there seems to be quite a lot we're doing today. Tell us the name of the dish we're preparing. Okay, I'm making pineapple infused fried rice. Wow. <laughs> Pineapple infused fried rice. Fried rice. Yes, please. Okay, where did mm -hmm. this idea come from? I just left and came up with the idea. Really? Yeah. Okay. Kind of. A, so, when um, are we infusing this pineapple? Is it at the beginning? Is it at the tail end? Is there a sauce coming with it? How are we going to put this together? We're going to fry this before you fry your veggies for the rice. And then you're going to be making the rice with the sauce of the pineapple, the juice of the pineapple. Interesting. Yes. Okay. Please. All right. So I really want to see how this is going to go. <laughs> what sort of um, cookware do we need? Do we need a deep dish? Do we mm, need a frying pan? I what need, do I need? Um, Let me help you get it. Yes. Thank you. What do we I need? I need one pan okay. and one deep dish. Just both of them is fine. All right. So uh, while I'm getting that, talk to us about these ingredients that you. Okay. Put so these are green peas. Right here we have the green peas. Okay. Then we have the bell peppers, multiple colors. We have the yellow, the red, and the green. And of course we have the carrots. We have some snails, 
It's optional though. Did you say some snails? <laughs> <laughs> That's optional. I'm smiling. That's optional. Optional. Yes. Okay, all right. Of sure. course, there's um, drumsticks, chicken. Okay. And then there are sausages, rice, salt, onion, nutmeg, white pepper. Mm. And every other thing. So that snail that you say is optional. I'm trying to inform you that it's not optional <laughs> in this case. That's the part I'm eating. Just I'm just oh. telling you ahead of time. Okay. But let's go over those ingredients one more time. Okay. We have a pineapple infused shrimp fried rice. That's what's on the screen. You can try shrimps. Mm -hmm. You can try snail. You can try uh, different ingredients. Uh, but you can make sure you have your salt, your water, your curry, your garlic, thyme, ginger, carrots, bay leaves, shrimp, sweet corn, and kidney beans. Yes, please. Or you can also add to this list, of course, your chicken, pineapple, dry parsley, white onions, vegetable oil, sweet onions, spring onions, soy sauce, rice, of course, is very important for this <coughs> rice, seasoning cubes, cinnamon, uh, cinnamon powder, yes. and pepper. I haven't seen the pepper yet. So where is the pepper? Where is it? Hmm? Different types of pepper, different yes. colors of peppers. Yes. Scotch bonnet is somewhere down here, yes. I know. I have we'll be to blend that. For the, um, the chicken. All right, so what is our first move? Right what now, do we do? we'll first wash our hands. Okay, and then, then? Wash the pan. Okay. Then the proteins first. Proteins first. Yes. So the Before pineapple stays the put? Yes. Okay. Right. Wash the rice, fry it, then. Pineapple All right, comes to so paint. I'm going to help you out with getting water and everything together. But is there anything yeah. else that needs chopping or mm, anything? Yeah, just onion and a onion. Of pepper. All right, let's get to that while I'm getting the water ready. Thank you. Um, and of course, Can you wash my hand, please? yeah, sure. Don't worry, I got you. I got you. We'll be doing that uh, a little later on. But I just want to be sure I got this right. So the ingredients, the veggies, are they going to come in? Uh, earlier or later on? Later on. Later on, yes, so, so we can chop them down and have them prepped. Yes. What have we done to the chicken so far? Marinated. I have them marinated. Um, I actually did the marinade since last night. Okay, what so did you add? Very... Okay, I had um, a couple of spices and herbs there. Mm -hmm. I have um, basil. Okay. I have scotch bonnet pepper. Okay. Seasoning cube, mm -hmm. a pinch of salt. All right. Honey. Ooh, <laughs> honey in the chicken. All right, at that sweet spot, we are going to be handing it over to the couch. We have loads of cooking to do today. Yes, please. Make sure you stay with us. Hey, come on. Uh, they're doing something cool in the kitchen. It's time for motivation. And this Monday morning, we have Dr. Ulumide Oladakbo Emmanuel. He's popularly known as the common sense guru. You must have heard that some, of course, one of the world's leading motivational speakers. And today, our topic is financial discipline. Now, that's something that everybody can get to learn from. It's great to have you, Doctor. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks for having me. You know, I just need to ask this question before we go straight up into our topic, right? Based on, based off on what we saw over the weekend, every, almost everybody these days, they want to go on social media and they want to drop one motivational quote or something and all of that. There, there, there was this story of um, a young man who would always drop motivational quotes, but then he has been found out as he was, he was arrested as a kidnapper. You know, how does one how does one pick or how does one uh, decide who to listen to on social media or anywhere, anywhere else? How are you sure that you're listening to somebody who is actually uh, uh, motivating for the right or not for clout, but actually knows what he's saying or has experienced what they're talking about? Well, in life, by their fruits, which I know them, and consistency and time reveals the true character of people. Mm. So you can fake and deceive all of the people some of the time. But you cannot deceive all of the people all, all the of time. the time. So okay. what people need to do is to check out for consistency and to check out for the fruits in the lives of the people. I like that. The fruits they, in their yeah, lives. The fruits in their lives because like social that. media is just a fake life. Mm, I like uh, that. Well, there is a f social media persona, but there is a real life. So find out the fruits of their life, and that's the real deal. Wonderful. I hope you're able to pick that up there, mm -hmm. find out the fruit. So let's get straight into it. We're talking about financial discipline today. Yeah. It is something that is extremely important. I mean, without financial discipline, there is so much one cannot achieve. By your own definition, how would you define financial discipline? Well, last week we looked at um, how to be able to come into a place of wealth, mm. and we established the fact that there are three things that are needed. Number one, you need financial intelligence, mm. which is understanding money, how to make it, how to manage it, how to multiply it. Then you need a financial plan, which is you creating a plan on how to get from where you are to where you need to be, from your present financial position to your desired financial destination. But the third key is financial discipline. Mm. And that's what we separate between the men and the boys. And the boys. So financial discipline is that ability to stick to your plan, 
stick to the goals and stick to the application of the principles that are required mm. for you to be able to you achieve your financial up. goals. Wonderful. So everyone that is matured and wise knows that they need to save. That's a starting point. You need to save. Everybody knows. But how many people do save? People do. That's where the discipline comes in because people say, you know, I can't afford to save. No, you cannot That's afford it. Let's not to save. Someone says I earn 30000 a month. Mm -hmm. My bills are 70000 So my, even my expense does not even... It, it, it can't even take care of my expenditure. Mm. How do I save? You know, I said last week that when your expenditure is greater than your income, mm. your upkeep will become your downfall. Exactly. So if you tell me that your expenditure is so high that your, what you are, your take home cannot take you home, then I need to start by investigating your expenditure. expenditure. Because most of the time, a lot of what people do are not necessary. You see, in life, there are needs, there are wants, and there are desires. desires. <laughs> so... One thing you need to find out is all those things you call expenditure, if we rate them based on needs, wants, and desires, under what umbrella would they fall? Because mm. all you need is what you need. So, your so needs, the you need to focus on your basic needs. needs. So you cut down the expense. Cut down all the things that are out of this. So for instance, people say things like, you know, I have to eat three square meal. Hello, three is a square or a triangle. <laughs> so where do you get the idea of three square meals? Who told you you have to eat three times a day? Where did mm. you, who did that to you? Who messed you up to that level? Mm. Because you don't live to eat, you eat to live. Mm. But when you believe you have to eat three times a day, mm. even when you are not hungry, ah, I've not had lunch, oh, I need to eat lunch, oh, and you are not hungry, but because you lack understanding, you want to do that. I said last week, if you eat tomorrow's food today, uh, You'll be hungry tomorrow. tomorrow. And that, that you if you wear to tomorrow's you. clothes today, mm. you have no clothes to wear tomorrow. If yeah. you live tomorrow's life today, you have no life to live tomorrow. So people need to understand that most of what we call expenditure, it's just, okay, you want to fix eyelashes, you want to fix bone straight, even though your <laughs> destiny is not straight. <laughs> it's not straight. And then you, have, you want to do bag and shoe to match. Your destiny is not what? matching your bank account. You want to have three handsets and maybe doing like a big boy. I but you don't, even, you don't even have any shares in all the telecom industry. Hmm. It's deception. Hmm. Now, there's a principle that people need to understand. It's called the 20, 40, 60 principle. And that principle helps us to understand that when you are in your 20s and in your 30s, majority of the decisions you make is based on what people will say, how will people feel, what will people think, because you are too immature to understand that you are not a breaking news. Mm. Your people are so busy thinking of their life that their you life. think you are the one they are thinking of. No, Everybody is busy with their life. But by the time you now get to your 40s and your 50s, you don't really care what anybody is saying because now you have discovered that you are either a fool at 40 mm. or your life is just about to begin at 40. Begin at 40. And you don't care what anybody has said because after 40 years of doing the same thing without a result, you wake up to reality. Mm. But by the time you now get to your 60s, you realize that nobody was even saying anything. At any point in time. You were just the one putting yourself under unnecessary pressure. pressure. How many times have you bought shoes thinking somebody will comment? Nobody said anything. And you are the one to say, ah, you didn't even say anything. I'm say, ah, you buy shoe. But well, you see the thing in this office, some of them, they be buying shoe every day. Some you, you buy I'm shoe. Now. Yeah, you know, because you see, you know, them, a lot of women are in women. that trouble. Women. Oh, I love shoes. <laughs> I love shoes. I think it's Gaddafi. You all have all, just. All, yeah. all have Salary you have just two legs, though, and you're buying shoes like an octopus. <laughs> and then he said, I love shoes. If you love shoe, produce shoe. If you love shoe, sell shoe, design shoe, market shoes. Bam. Don't waste all your life. And also, financial discipline is just where we separate between the men and the boys. Mm. You can dream, you can desire, but without discipline, it will never happen. Some of them is shawarma. Uh, parfait, they will eat shawarma twice or thrice a week and all of that. But I like what you said, you have to find a way to cut and save. And then after yeah. saving, how, how do you move there with the financial discipline? What now, the first thing we need to understand is that savings is not an investment. A lot of people keep making that mistake. Okay. Savings is not an investment, but savings is required for investment. Wow. So saving is setting money aside for a purpose. Mm. Because when you are saving money, you are not making money. Because the inflation is eating it up, devaluation is eating it up. <sighs> But you need that discipline of saving in order for you to have money to invest. So we advise people to save a minimum of 10 to 20% of all their income. Okay. If you save between 10 to 20% of every money that comes into your life, after a period of time, you have enough to be able to now begin to invest. So savings is setting money aside for a purpose. Investment is sending money on assignment for a return. But that is where the challenge is. A number of people have gotten into Ponzi schemes. A number of people have gotten because they want to invest. They have the money they have saved up. How do they, def how do they uh, get the right investment vehicle? That takes us back to the first point, financial intelligence. The first thing to invest in is to invest in yourself. 
Mm. Invest in your knowledge. But, because, you see, if you don't invest in knowledge, then you will be deceived because a lot of people are moved by greed, covetousness, groupthink, herd mentality, learned helplessness. All these things are things that affect you because they don't know. But when you learn, you see, once you know the truth, it's easy to detect a lie mm. because you already know the truth. But if you don't know the truth, a lie perpetuated and pushed consistently becomes your truth, truth because you are not aware of what the truth is. But when you invest in your financial intelligence and you invest in financial education, then you will know what to do because once you have that understanding, you realize that number one, there is nothing like get rich quick scheme. Mm. Number two, there is no risk-free investment. Number ah. three, real wealth takes time to be built. Oof. That understanding will let you know that look, if somebody is promising you this, 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 no, 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 it doesn't work like that. Oh, this one is risk-free. There is no risk-free investment. Investment is a coin. Return, risk are the two sides of the coin. You just need to find out what is the risk and if it's the risk that you are willing to take. And everyone just needs to take informed risk and calculated risk. Because of you, this has been a September to remember. Thank you so much for your presence on our show all through September. There's been a lot. I know on social media, you can get all the YouTube clips. Keep those four or five clips together. Make references to them. Today's own, I will go back to it. Uh, we're able to pick up something. Thank you so much, Common Sense Crew. Thanks I, for having me. Wishing you the best. Thank you. All right, that's all that we can take, of course, on Motivation this Monday morning. We'll take a time out now. I don't go nowhere. The show is just getting started. Fantastic. Now, it's amazing what you can do with some fruits, vegetables, and some rice. How's it going? Beautiful. All right. I love it. Thank I'm looking you. at this pineapple. You've done something extra special to this pineapple today. Okay. Yeah. You've cut it in a very interesting design. Thank you. Um, now, all the pineapple is right here in the bowl from yes. the center. Yes. Uh, are you planning to use this later on? Yes. Okay. Beautiful. So what have we done so far while we were away? We've steamed our proteins okay. and fried our rice, so our what? raw rice. Okay, I can see you holding the pineapple now. What's the next move? And we added the pineapple juice to the fried rice. Right there, there was some oil in there. I could see some bay leaves yeah, and some spices yes. with the dry rice, actually. Yes, please. Interesting. Okay, fantastic. Can we pop open this to see what's happening inside there? All right. Okay, that chicken's looking good. Thank you. So there's chicken in there. You marinated that chicken yesterday night with some spices. Yes, there's, yes. There's also some snail in there. <laughs> what that's are you optional. Optional, okay. <laughs> you keep saying optional. <laughs> hey, you don't know that's like one of these star players in that <laughs> right um, So I'm looking at what you're doing. What are you looking out for right now? I'm actually frying the rice till it turns golden brown. And then the juice from the pineapple would have been absorbed in the rice. I have to fry it till it dries up a little, okay. which you can see right now, mm. it's almost dry. So I'll have to introduce the broth from the proteins that are steaming right now. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Thank you. So straight from the pan. Yes. Ooh, look at all that goodness. Ooh. Okay, so the broth from the chicken straight into the rice. Yes, please. Fantastic. Thank you. Then you stir. Mm so that everything incorporates properly. Fabulous. The so, aromas I'm getting are very interesting. I'm getting <laughs> pineapple, I'm getting chicken. Ooh, <laughs> nice combo. Thank you. All right, so then you're adding water. Yes, to so cook the rice till it softens enough for it to get to the final stage of preparation. Beautiful. Thank you. All right then. Thank so. For those that are just tuning in, we have pineapple infused fried rice. Yes. Beautiful. We have quite a lot of ingredients right here with us. Uh, there's loads of vegetables here. Of course, those are the condiments you need. Uh, ginger, thyme, garlic, curry, salt, liver, bay leaf, shrimps, sweet corn, kidney peas. And then the major ingredients are coming up in a second. Yeah, if you have in your fridge some chicken, pineapple, some white onions, uh, maybe some vegetable oil, uh, maybe some spring onions. Dark soy also is an interesting yes. uh, twist. So dark soy is usually for Asian dishes. Um, I do feel like once you add soy sauce to anything, it changes the entire flavor. That's the idea. Okay, so you have another uh, piece yeah. of cookware here. Yes, what are you planning yes. to do with this? Fry the veggies here and then introduce the rice in All there. Right. Yes. Fantastic. 
Thank you. Okay, so everything's looking good in here. Chicken's almost done. Rice is heating up. Vegetables all nice and chopped. All you need to do is try your version at home. Maybe make a quick video. Maybe do something on Instagram. Post it on Facebook. Just use our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. Let's see what your pineapple infused fried rice looks like. We can't wait. We have so much more coming your way right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Time is like what? Well, they say like, it's like a dash of wind or something. When everything seems to be going, uh, it just goes like that. Welcome. Anyhow, second hour here. Wake Up Nigeria. You guys are welcome. The second hour is just about 45 minutes. So we have quite a lot of time and it's ticking by every single second. So make sure that you stay right there because we plan to make it worth your while. Absolutely. It's a feel good number one breakfast show yeah. for Nigeria, for Africa and indeed the world. So hey, we're that stairway to where you need to get to this week and we are starting <laughs> the week on the right note for you guys, aren't we? Mm -hmm. And how are we going to do that? We're going to make sure that you stay tuned to Discover after we have, you know, this amazing breakfast TV show planned uh, the week before. We would like you to enjoy it. So Absolutely. stay there. What you guys are doing inside the kitchen is amazing. My car uh, is running. He's got yeah, his, so. he's taken over. This is this is not going to end well now that Mike is in the kitchen <laughs> with with Winfrey. Uh, uh, I, it's not looking good. No, food, show, food, Mike, what do you think is happening here? Up to? What is she up to it's, behind? It's you? not what I think. What it's do you think is happening? What do you know? What do you know? Food is doctor happening is here. If you are sick, <laughs> you make sure. And as it starts, all of you are healthy. All of you are healthy. Oh, you're yeah, the only sick one. Chef, say hi to us, chef. chef. Don't just say chef, hi to you. Just wave. Just wave. Okay. Okay. You're just wave. Just give them a nice wave. Everybody here is okay. They don't need a doctor. Wow. All of them in the even in PCR, <laughs> Chef yeah. Bonham, I'm looking at you people. Chef Bonham eat rice. <laughs> what was it Winfrey said about <laughs> earlier on? Everybody goes to hospital, but not everybody receives treatment. Exactly. So everybody's in the kitchen, but not everybody's gonna have a, have that breakfast. <laughs> In any case, you guys are welcome. You can watch us live from anywhere that you might be. All you need to do is download the app on iOS or on Google Play Store. Mm -hmm. You can also watch us live on GoTV Channel 27 and UHF Channel 49. Follow us all across our social, uh, social media handles. All you need to do is look for us. We are at TVC Connect everywhere. Yes, yeah, so now for what we have in store for the rest of today's show, it's very simple. Stay right there for our brain teaser show, talking about who, who wants, wants to, to be, be a millionaire. millionaire. Promo voice. So Wari Dan will be joining us for a musical performance, guys, so please don't go anywhere. And of course, on SME, Adi Yemi Adiola is the chief engineer at Crown Tech Engineering, a company founded 11 years ago, a company that specializes in commercial kitchen designs. You want to revamp your kitchen? Maybe this is the conversation you need to watch. <laughs> Alrighty then. Yeah. Scary. Mm -hmm. Scary. Well, uh, the visual of the guy under that place where it was breaking is just oh. scares me. I have yeah. a very big phobia for buildings. Really? That are being constructed now. But yeah. it, it it is heartwarming when you see the final outlook mm -hmm. of what it could become. Now, um, there was a, oh, I'll, I'll mention her Wolf, name. I'll Wolf get Wolfi. Wolfi. Yeah. Wolfi is uh, Wolfi Ifada, right? Mm -hmm. Wolfi Ifada. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. She has put together this amazing restaurant, mm -hmm. and when the video showed the beginnings of that, mm -hmm. you'll be like. Hell no. Mm -hmm. How is this going to get from this to I, that? I love progression. It's, it's amazing beautiful. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can only hope that in our lifetime we get to do something great yeah, like that. Yeah, you know, there's, there's that, exactly. There's, yeah. that, there's that excitement of having to start something from inception phase. Yeah. 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 And especially when it happens, I, I think she already had a restaurant before. So yeah, exactly. And then she had to start. Exactly. So, yeah. It was know, taken that, away. That, that comeback, mm -hmm. I, I, the, the, the ability to come back, the ability that is against all odds, yeah. you still push forward. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's, that's a thing that makes, makes us remarkable as human beings. Mm -hmm. And even well, achieve something yeah. bigger. Yeah, that, that we can. Because I mean, the place is actually a standing. Yeah. Uh, it's I just. Mean, which is why I give it to Nigerians. Yeah. In spite of all that is we happening, we always find a way. We always find a way. I think that it, it's it's a good and a bad thing. Mm. It's almost like the story of the is it a frog who was put into boiling water? <laughs> yeah. And then what happens is that while the water is boiling, the frog adjusts Adjust the body to, to set the temperature of the water, yeah. and then it gets to the dies. point whereby it busts and dies. Mm. <laughs> so we should be as we are adjusting. Also, we should also call to ensure that we have an environment that works. 
That's the kind of motivation that Mike is very used to. The very grim kind. <laughs> you boy, boy, you die. So get up now. <laughs> Thanks for staying with us. My name is Winfred Bilishe. It's time for some news. Ahead of next year's election, a pro Tinubu group in the South-South geopolitical zone, known as a Shiwaju support group, is massively mobilizing voters in the six states of the region for the realization of the presidential ambition of APC candidates. Inaugurating the Delta chapter of the group in Wari, the coordinator, Ruben Wilson, and joined members to embark on a door-to-door -door mobilization for the presidential candidates of the All Progressives Congress. TVC's Ikena Amechi has the full details. By the 28th of this month, according to the timetable of the Independent National Electoral Commission, political campaigns will begin with that of the presidential. So, different support groups of political parties are seriously mobilizing voters for their candidates. A pro group in the South-South geopolitical zone, known as the Asewaju Support Group, TAG, is massively rallying the grassroots across the six states in the region. At the inauguration of the group in Delta State, the coordinator, Pastor Ruben Wilson, charged supporters to embark on a door-to-door -door mobilization for Bola Ahmed Tinubu's victory at the poll. Someone who was the governor, the government But he was able to manage the state for that period of time using personal funds and things, money that he generated from the state to take care of what that project, everything. Earlier, the coordinator of the group, who is also the convener of the Pastor Ruben Wilson Initiative for Good Leadership and Accountability, had inaugurated the rivers and Akwaibom State chapters where thousands pledged their support for the Asewaju Tinubu's political philosophy of human and economic development. We are trying to mobilize as much people, inaugurate them to go back to their localities to canvass for vote for Tinubu against the general election. We must all abide to that, whether you are APC, whether you are PDP, whether you are Labour Party. But what's important is when you say the next president of Nigeria is Ahmed Bola Tinubu. Political pundits view the Aswaj support group as the fastest growing political movement in the South South for the APC. Iken Amechi, TVC News, Worry. And that's all the news we'll be taking on this hour. It's time for more catching stuff to see what's happening. All right, then now the food doctor has been hard at work. And honestly, there's quite a lot going on here at the same time. Presently, she has the chicken freshly fried and she's pouring that out now. Um, so I remember there being a lot of broth in there. There was broth and the broth from the chicken, you poured it directly into the rice. Did you add any oil after that to um, the pan? No. You didn't? No. So all this oil I'm seeing now is from the chicken. Yes, goodness yes. me. Yes. And some people will still add oil later. <laughs> Ew, goodness. All right, there's some... Uh, snails in there as well, nicely fried, crispy and brown. Yes, sir. Smelling great. Thank you. I think it's about time we call security to come and guard this frying pan <laughs> because I know that there's some people that are going to be eyeing this chicken. What happens now, Chef? I'm trying to make the pepper, um, pepper sauce for the proteins, then we'll okay. finish up for the rest. All right, so what goes into our pepper sauce? I got it. Go ahead. What goes mm. into the pepper sauce? A pinch of garlic, garlic and ginger. Mm -hmm. Okay, same frying pan you used for the chicken. Yes. Just gonna fry the garlic. Mm -hmm. What else are we frying? A little onion. A little onion. Okay. All right. And pineapple. the pineapple. Goodness. So the pineapple juice going into the oil first. Yes. Then some pineapple. All right, all right. Beautiful. Ooh, interesting. Onions, garlic, and pineapple frying in chicken oil, I'm going to call it, because it wasn't vegetable oil you added. It's just the oil directly from the chicken. Yes, please. Those were bay leaves you added just now. Yes. So, how the pepper mix? All right. Fabulous. So, this pepper mix is scotch bonnet peppers. Is there some tatashe in there? No. No? No. So, what's in there? Habanero pepper. Habanero? It, it's a clove of garlic. Garlic. One um, tomato. 
and, and a onion. bulb of onion. One onion, tomato, clove of garlic. Garlic? Yes. Wow. Okay, Interesting so. combo. Thank you. So, what are we looking out for with this pepper sauce now? For the proteins. We'll be coating the proteins in it. No, I mean, what are we looking out for? Do we want it to uh, change color or how yes. long are we leaving it on the. Mm, two minutes. Two minutes. Beautiful. Yes, two minutes. I can see that all these vegetables are nicely diced, very colorful. I feel like we're going to have a very colorful dish before long. This pineapple is calling me. I'm trying to stay away from it. Um, but we have quite a lot of ingredients, so that it feels like there's still quite a lot to do. What no. happens next? We're just waiting for the rice to get tender. Then we'll just couple everything together. Amazing. As simple as that. Ooh, pineapple infused fried rice. Are you trying yours at home? If you are, don't forget to show us. Use our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. The food doctor has prescribed this for us this morning. Oh my God. And we can't wait to taste it. What? Let's see if that voice was right. Which of the options? Tenochtitlan. Tenochtitlan. If you went with Tenochtitlan, that's not the amount you would have won. You would have won two million naira because it was actually the right answer. You do have that voice in your head also. The two million. This is the closest we've gotten to two million in a while. I try to say this is closest we've gotten to what you I'm got. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, but wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed that I guess it. Fine guess. She actually I, is, she's a perfect match, so. beauty and brains. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. I, it's not just that she, she got some of the questions correctly up until one million. Yeah. But the fact that she knew when to say, you know, yeah. maybe I mean, she had enough. Even if she could have gotten that two million. And she, she, she wears glasses too. Mike, okay, can we, stop can we focus I'm, on the I'm, game? I'm stop looking stop. forward to a world where this will be a conversation when the lady is literally answering questions. Mm. Oh. With his brain, yeah. his brain, really. When the guy sits there, you say, oh, he's handsome too, and he knows what he's saying. Yeah, he does. Uh, uh, you pussy. Well. No, we don't. We don't. We don't. Actually, don't. It actually, actually has become don't. the norm. Why is it that it's such a surprise that a beautiful woman in glass? That's a woman. Generally. It's not beautiful. Yeah, I'm even adding the beautiful. Isn't it surprise? I know. Is it that God? I don't know. When God paints the face, it's not paints the brain. Mike, oh. I want, Mike, I want no. to help you. Hey, but you Mike, dug but yourself it, into no. the hole. Why? I'm just <laughs> asking. <laughs> <laughs> so, in other words, if she was not so beautiful, oh, a little bit more plain, it would have been normal for her to answer. But, she, her but actually, she also, she also be much because she was quite plain. Uh, wow. And beautiful. Wow. So, the beautiful like, was not about being this is your cute um, the facade. You can't, you can't, can't, you can't see. see. She you was beautiful enough. and I was impressed. Was <laughs> beauty and brains. Yes, yeah, only it with your foot chest. That's the steel. Beauty and brains. But I do think that the questions <laughs> and answers are getting better and better for uh, who wants to be, be a millionaire. Um, I don't know they if gave I'm, me, they, they called me out uh, uh, on Friday. They did. What on did Friday, they... I went to do quiz. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is true. So, during our cultural <laughs> diversity, that, 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 let me tell them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> during our cultural diversity day, on mm -hmm. Friday, hang on. No, because we had our own representative, <laughs> and of course, from Wake Up Nigeria was <laughs> Mike Messina, <laughs> whom we all thought, or they <laughs> thought, was the most intelligent person. I don't know why they skipped For me. For reasons like this. Wow, they skipped you. Know, they did skip me. Uh -huh. But Mike got up on, but Mike, I will say that he got all the questions for everybody else, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, but no, not so the ones for him. But he got <laughs> it, was, it was quite different because we had to rush. It wasn't like this, it wasn't in this format. It was just one question. If you don't get it, you're off. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then it was in luck of a draw. You, yeah. you, you pick, pick you just pick, pick a, a question. I mean, Every single question, really. It was the one that flags the countries and everything. Really? Yeah. I, I knew Mike is good okay, at it. So the, the question I missed was um, the national food of Ghana. I knew, I knew it was a swallow. Okay. But it was between no, pounded fufu. yam and fufu. Mm -hmm. It's fufu. It's fufu. It's always been fufu. Mm -hmm. yes. like, I went for what pounded yam. What's pounded yam? Pounded yam. I knew it was a swallow. So the fufu so in fufu. Ghana is not um, from cassava. Mm -hmm. It's oh, actually okay. made of something else. It just draws a little mm -hmm. as well. It's really mm -hmm. stringy, but it's actually quite nice. So I missed nice. that one. It was fufu. And I knew it was a swallow. And it kicked him out. Wow. Get out of here. <laughs> and welcome back after that riveting performance. I mean, what next do we have? Let's do SME. And for SME, we've got Adeola Ademi. He is the chief engineer at Crown Tech Engineering, a company founded 11 years ago. Now, an engineering company that specializes in, guess what? Commercial kitchen designs. Now, foot trucks, revamp, and all that kind of stuff. You've probably seen it on TV, that kind of thing. You know, I'm wondering, where can I get this kind of a job done for my kitchen? My commercial kitchen? Well, here's the man. You are welcome, Adeola. Good Thank to have you. you here, man. Thank you for having nice. me. Nice. You're an engineer. Yes. Well, for 11 years, you've almost become a chef. 
Not really. <laughs> Not really. But you've worked with chefs. Oh, yes. Worked with Top people. chefs in Nigeria. Top chefs, like... Um, chef Stone, Chef Cupid, nice. you know. Chef Denike. Wow. Yes, I th you know, I've, I've worked with chefs, so I think when you say food, mm -hmm. I can relate well. Nice. Yeah, we have the right man in the place here. Thank so you. So what do you do exactly for these chefs? Okay, um, we, we are into their commercial kitchen. We built commercial kitchen, mm -hmm. um, trucks, food trucks, um, constructions, and fabrications. Mm. Stainless steel features, you know, we fabricate. We locally fabricate the stuffs. So we do those kind of things. So, but for the kitchen aspect, we set up a full commercial kitchen. Nice. So why can't just anybody do it? I can get one guy who can help me wire this one, put down. Uh, I mean, boom, boom, you know, bow. kitchen setup requires planning. Mm. I mean, it's not just having your equipment and you are dumping in one space and you feel that's a commercial kitchen. Mm. No, there are a lot of things to be considered. From the layout, the planning, the equipment which is the paramount thing, the kind of equipment you need for the kind of kitchen you want to have, because we have different kinds of kitchen, the pastry kitchen, the restaurant kitchen, we even have the African kitchen. So, I mean, if I want to have an African kitchen, I can't start bringing stuff like salamander and all that. Mm. You know, I need the pressure pot stuff that, you know, if I want to cook my, my jollof, yeah. smoky, I need the pressure pot, yeah. you know, thyme. Yeah. You know, that, that's why... So not, not everybody knows this. Not everybody who's exactly, in the food business exactly. knows the fact that if I'm going to start a food business, most people, personally, I just like, get a place and just buy, is there stove? <laughs> okay, have you guys bought the oven? Exactly. Yeah, okay, now I hire the chef. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you actually have to consider the fact that your planning, your planned area... Exactly. It's actually a thing, the architecture... Very, very area. important. You saw a, a picture from earlier where it was broken down structure. Yes, yes. Well, explain to us what that was. Yes, I mean, that, that's how I recent um, the kitchen we designed in Kebi State. Okay. That was done in Kebi. So it was an hotel, I mean, kitchen. So immediately we got there with my partner, Woodmat. There it so is. it was like, ah, man, this kitchen is so small. So we need to break down the wall to expand to the fence. Okay. You know, so they broke down the main kitchen because mm. it was so small. You know, we had to link it to the fence area mm. so that we can expand and have a bigger kitchen for the hotel because it's going to be serving about 200 people in a day. Definitely. Yeah, so we, we needed to expand. So that was why we broke down those walls. Mm. Oh, very yeah. interesting. So you're an engineer. So your engineering background also comes to play here. Yeah. Uh, an engineer in what uh, option, what field? Um, so uh, I started with the electrical engineering, okay. you know, my, my dad happens to be, they call my dad Baba Nepa <laughs> because he's, he's an he engineer. He always takes light, he cuts light, sorry, okay. So I thought he was the one that cuts the lights. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> Forgive no, my no, grim humor. No. So he works for Nepa back in the days. Okay. So I mean, growing up, you know, I have this passion for electrical works. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I started joining wire in the house when stuff got burnt. I would join the wire, Man to you know, fix the socket. So, I mean, I started doing all these things. So my dad, you know, sometimes we go out together. Mm -hmm. he, he deals with this HT, that's overhead, I mean, uh, high tension, you know, yeah. cables. So I was learning from my dad. I was learning. So uh, along the line, when I finished my secondary school, I was on the street with my friend, Yomi. So I, I, I got to meet Chef Stone. Mm. Do you understand? So he, he owns this um, dry cleaning firm. So along the line, I was also the guy in charge of the maintenance. Okay. When there's no light, I go to the, you know, the DB, I try to fix. So Chef was like, ah, this guy is just everywhere. And so moving to the kitchen setup. So he called me that, oh, he wants to have a culinary school. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it started from the house. Mm -hmm. So he called me and we called some furniture guys. That was the woodwork. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he needed to expand. So he looked for his space then. He said, okay, he needed to expand. So we went there. He showed me his plans that, oh, this is what I want to achieve. Then we're able to achieve it. Do you understand? So that's where it all started from? Yes, the kitchen setup. Oh, but, but you see, now, with that engineering background, that must have been mm -hmm. an advantage. To anybody out there who has a passion for layouts or, you know, structures or yeah. architecture of in, uh, um, uh, um, in-house designs and exactly. stuff. Exactly. Like, do they need such a background or can they already just get started with your passion alone? Uh, you know, you don't basically need that. You know, with constant learning, mm -hmm. you understand, experience. If you, if, you, if you mingle with people that are experienced in this field, you can easily grow up. Nice. Do you understand? It's just like an architect. When you have a space, you should know that this is meant to be here. This is meant to be here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Do you understand? With that, you can be able to, you know, start your own setup. Okay. It's easy and it's not easy. Yeah. Because if you are not smart enough, at you least, won't be... But sort of training at least, you know, they need uh, that kind I mean, we hope to have that on board maybe later in the nearest future. Okay. But for now, we don't train. Mm. You know, we do all these stuff with our craft, like um, the artisans. Mm -hmm. We have the welders, you know, the guys that do the markings and all this because we deal with stainless steel okay. fabrication. So all these are tables. You fabricate them yourself? Yes, they are locally fabricated oh, so by fabricate us. We don't fabricate these stainless steel structures for, ex for, for commercial kitchens. Exactly, yes. Oh, interesting. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we don't, the only thing we import are the, the stuff like the burners, uh, uh, the ovens and all these things. But every other thing, stainless steel features, we fabricate those things ourselves. Wow, very interesting. This, these are Thank welding you. skills, or what kind of skills do you need to be able to fabricate these structures? Uh, you, you, you probably don't need any skill. Mm. Do you understand? You just need to understand how the technique works. Okay. Do you understand? When you see a table, I mean, if someone tells you that I, I need a four-feet table, okay. you should be able to mark out okay. in order to achieve the length four feet by this and all that. So, I mean, you just need, you don't need basic, you know, so you deal in commercial kitchens. Yes. Um, but how much uh, clientele do you get from this uh, kind of work? Mm. Are they always out there? Is there? Yes. You know, is there every, a demand for every, your Yes. Service? Everybody likes food. And yeah. I mean, yeah, in Lagos State. Where are you? Exactly. <laughs> in Lagos State, I mean, if you, if you go to the island, you can find restaurants in every five, five minutes. Right. True. Do you understand? Right. So everybody wants commercial kitchen. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So, I mean, the client base is people are really calling for, you know, because we have good designs. Mm -hmm. And I can easily tell you that we are one of the best. Nice. nice. Yes. So is there work out there for someone who's an artisan with this yes, kind of, sure. you know? Yes, so sure. How can they get these jobs? Yes. How can they, who do they have? To, how do you get these jobs? How do okay, you uh, we, we do, we, we are so good in our social media marketing. Okay. You know, we do more of the sponsored ads, mm -hmm. you know, chefs, people out there. They get to see our design and they call and be like, oh, we are interested. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is how we get our clients. So you've made your name. You know how you get your client. Yes. So the guy out there who knows how to put maybe one or two things Yeah, that's together. what I'm saying. Okay, he. Now, social so media. Social media is a good yes, one. Yes, yeah. very good. Okay. Social media is one of the key mm -hmm. to this marketing. So from one setup, how much could I make if I was to start this business? If I'm going to set up for a commercial kitchen? Um... Because of the inflation right now. Yeah, the dollar is not so much. Do you understand? And some of these our materials, they come from China because oh. China, you know, they are the biggest manufacturer of stainless. Mm. So, I mean, if you are looking at the, the net worth, like the gain, you might not deliver the quality. Mm. For us, you know, we make our gain, but at the same time, we should not give out prices that people say, oh, wow, to buy just a table, 200,000, mm. no, we have to, you know, bring down the price a little bit mm -hmm. and still give good quality. Nice. Because there's, you know, our table, I, I like practical things. Mm -hmm. You know, when you see our own table and the imported table, they are, you know, it, the difference is clear. Durability and the, even the gauge of the stainless. Nice. The quality matters. So, I mean, this is... Yeah. What we have been in. So earlier you mentioned that you had one structure that you put together in Kebi State. This yes, beginning in Kebi. Your network is all across Nigeria. Yes, yes. Have you ever been called outside Nigeria for? Oh a, no. For oh a, yes. Uh, we, we received the call in Ghana. Nice. In Ghana, there was this yeah. chef that called that. Oh, she needed to, but it's still in process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but so far, just Nigeria. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Thank you. Tell you what we will do. Yeah. Uh, whoa. God, I'm. I'm so sad that and happy at the same time that what we're cooking inside the kitchen today, I might not get to eat it because I'm sure chef, the chef only made just about a bit that's enough for you. But uh, maybe you can help us map out our kitchen and see what kind of structure you could put in there. I don't know, perhaps for free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Hopefully. Joking. But just stay put because we're going to bring you inside the kitchen to enjoy some of the very interesting and beautiful Thank meal you. that the chef has put together. You can smell it already. I hear there's some pineapples in there. Mm. It's going to be grand and great. But um, yeah, that will be for after. Uh, and just in case you're out there and you're wondering how you can actually start this kind of a business, like he said, it's minimal training, it's minimal uh, um, skill. It's, you just have to be able to have that skill or passion for it. I'm going to bring our guest over to the kitchen now and let's see 
Now, these are the visuals from your current... Where, where is this exactly? Uh, this is in Lagos, mm. Ogudu. And these are the structures we're talking about. These yes. are all fabricated by you. Yes. Wow. Uh, that is very... It's very shiny, by the way. It looks like one Thank of the you. big structures inside of those big hotels. Thank so you. So now I get the level of work you're talking about here, yeah. which is yeah. very interesting. Very nice. So, very nice. Now... The food doctor has been hard at work in here. Mm -hmm. And uh, our guest is very familiar with kitchen work, so he understands that great food is made in great kitchens. Definitely. Look at that kitchen he put together. So he's now, a kitchen maker? Yes, so he's a kitchen <laughs> maker. People like her look to people like him so that the environment is perfect. We work together. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you so much, food doctor, for prescribing this Spoiled meal for us today. Mm -hmm. And uh, what did we call this earlier on? Pineapple infused fried rice. Pineapple infused fried rice. Now, as you can see, the rice is served inside the pineapple. All the beautiful veggies and spices, and of course, chicken in pineapple as well. Looking really good, looking really good. Thank you so much for You're all this hard work, You're really. Welcome. And of course, we would like our guests to have a taste. I am for me humble, boss. <laughs> Please, yes, sir. let's do this. Let's do it, let's okay. do it, let's do it. Have a okay. taste and tell us what you think. Mm. Mm. The pineapple. Yeah? I like the taste. Feel the flavor, yeah? You can All feel right. it. Yummy. Thank All you. right. Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. And that's, that's actually the response we're looking Cheers. forward to. Uh, as you can imagine. The food doctor. That's the stuff. I know you're okay. <laughs> no, I'm okay. You see what Mike did? He kicked Winfrey from outside out of the kitchen. So now there's more food for us. Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you, thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> Winfrey, don't worry, sister. I got you. <laughs> Who you got? You have you got yourself? I got you. I got you, girl. I got you. You have not got yourself. We are friends things. now. I don't know about you. Look at this food, though. Amazing stuff. Fantastic presentation. Look I at must that. Say. Thank you. Do you want to see magic? No, no magic. <laughs> want Mike. to see it disappear? No magic. You want to? I want to make. He's not disappearing to me. No, please go ahead and continue eating. Uh, now know, we have an amazing week yes. planned for you. Yes. All the mischief uh -uh. they are showing you here, really. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. Wow! 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 Magician! Wow! Yeah, uh, this one is not disappearing anytime soon. I got magic. This. Don't worry, people. We would love to see yours as well. Use our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC and show us what you put together. Make sure you tune in tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., y'all. Bye bye, everybody. Bye.